Listen, if you want to be a corporate innovator or an innovation champion within your company, failure is inevitable. But how do you bounce back from them without damaging your career? Today, drawing from real world examples of drawbacks, I will teach you how to use your step backs as stepping stones for your next success. If this is something that you're interested in, let's go. Firstly, listen, you have to embrace failure. Failure is inevitable. Now we know there's a cliche, right? Uh, Thomas Edison failed uh, 10,000 times at building the light bulb before he got it right. It's a cliche, but it's a cliche because it happens often. Now, I'm not going to talk about the politics of how to navigate this because I have talked about it in an earlier video of the politics of corporate innovation. Go watch that. Now, the next thing that you have to do is do a thorough debrief of what exactly happened. A really good example is when Apple's Newton PDA failed, they did a thorough deconstruction of what happened. And today, we probably have the iPhone because of the lessons that were learned. Documentation is very helpful in the thorough debrief. As you know, the airlines use the, the black box approach so to be able to record everything that has happened during an air crash event. And that's something that we should be able to do. We should be able to document the whole process in order for us to use it to figure out what went wrong. The last two steps I think are the most important. So stick and stay with me until the very end of this video. The next thing is proactive communication and I cannot overemphasize it. Transparency is important. Look, Elon Musk with all his faults, has been very open every time space has had a failed rocket launch and even in that communication he was emphasizing the learnings and the resilience that the company was building as a result of them and that engenders trust additionally addressing the issue head-on talking to all stakeholders and making sure they are aware of whatever is going is also a really great way to engender trust through the process of innovation Additionally, you must have a learning perspective on this. Really good examples when Pepsi at some point decided they wanted to do like a clear cola and the whole market rejected it. Pepsi pivoted, learned and reinvented. The other thing in having a learning perspective is to leverage your failure. So I've mentioned 3M and the post-it note multiple times in my videos. But the thing is, the post-it note came out of a failed innovation project. They were trying to create a certain adhesive and it didn't work out. And so the question is, what assets did we gain even from this failed project? Then you need your comeback strategy. You have to re-envision and re-implement based on the lessons that you've learned. So Facebook, for example, tried to launch the Facebook phone a couple of years ago and that did not work out. They used the learnings there to refocus on a mobile first application and it helped significantly boost user engagement and revenues. The other thing is just to seek external help in trying to figure out why things went wrong and how you could get it right. A good example is when Kodak failed to capitalize on digital photography, they sought external partners that they used to help them diversify and recapture parts of that market. The two most important things to do at the end of every failed project is focus on small wins. A great example is Google glass may not have done well on the market but the learnings from it spared innovation in pharmaceuticals in manufacturing in healthcare rebuilding google's confidence in what they could possibly do in that area the other thing you should do as a corporate innovator after a failed project is to find a small project that almost guarantees you a quick win to implement Part of that is building trust. So you're not attached to a large failure in your organization. So shortly after a large failure, you should try and get a quick project that will bring a quick win and that will help your career. So now you failed. Now you've learned the lessons from it. Now you might have even drawn assets that you got from that failure. 
Now it's time to sit down, reevaluate, and figure out based on the failure and the lessons, what are the next big steps you must be taking to reach the ultimate goal that you want to reach. Look, in the corporate world, failure is just a stepping stone to success. By understanding, learning, and adapting and refining strategies based on real world setbacks, you as an innovation champion or an innovator can safeguard your career and position yourselves for future success. Every misstep offers a unique lesson. It is all about harnessing the potential of that lesson. Thank you for listening.